Hello my friends, welcome to Pro Arm Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're practicing Under Arrest from the Fiddle Time Joggers book. In the book it is suggested that we play this pizzicato but like our Bowdown Belinda piece, I don't know, I'm hoping you might have watched that as well, we're not playing it pizzicato, we're going to go and play it with the bow straight away. So let's begin by going over our bow hold once more. Your bow hold, as you know, is a circle in between your thumb and your middle finger. So let's see if you can get this little ring going first and then when you open a little gap you can put the bow in between there. Now your thumb goes right in this bit here uh, and then your middle finger goes over. So let's put all your fingers down and let's put your little finger on the side edge. There we are. Now. Let's see if you can bend your thumb underneath your bow and let's see if you can make your little finger round. There we go. And let's do some bow exercises next to promote this good bow hold. So we're going to make our wrist nice and flexible. Just move your bow up and down, swinging your wrist like that. And that feels really weird when you're first learning to play the violin, but that's okay. You will very soon get used to that. Now let's do some big windscreen wipers. And all that time I'm really trying to keep my, bent, my thumb bent underneath. So let's do some more windscreen wipers. Lovely job. Now let's have the bow upright and let's do this crab crawling exercise. And we'll crawl all the way up to the point of the bow. That's right. And then we're going to go all the way back. Let's see if you can manage. Now this promotes flexibility in your fingers and it makes your fingers really nice and strong. So if you practice that every time before you start your practice, that will really help you develop that good bow hold. So now I've arrived back at the heel of the bow and I'm checking that my thumb is still bent and I'm also checking my little finger. Great. So let's have your violin up now and I want you to really slide that so that it comes close to your ear. And now I want you to check out the level of your violin. Be careful that you're not too high and that you're not too low either. We've said you just need to be above the horizontal. Okay, let's get our bow down on the G string because this piece we are going to play again with the bow rather than the pizzicato that's indicated in your music. We're going to use the bow and we're going to use the lower half of the bow up to the middle and then back again. So if you like that, you might put a little sticker or a little bit of sellotape around your bow here so that you know where the middle is. Are you ready? We're going to start with our bow on the string. And each time when we, when we come across one of those rests, we're lifting the bow up and resetting it, retaking it, that as it's called, back to the heel of the bow. So that's where we're starting as well. After four. One, two, three, four. Now lift your bow off and reset it. And now we're going to set it on D string. And you've done that because especially when you're first starting to learn this it's quite hard on the arms to hold the violin up for such a long time and to be bowing in that bowing position for that long. You will soon build stamina but for now just take frequent rests make sure you make your shoulders nice and loose and you shake your hand and then once it's all rested let's do it again shall we? Let's find that nice bow hold again. So Make sure you've got a little space here between your index and middle fingers and also between your ring finger and your little finger. Now, 
One more time. I've got my thumb bent underneath. Perhaps see it like that. And then I've got my little pinky round on the side edge of the bow. Okay, back to the beginning. And this time I want you to count to four in each bar of the music. Each bar of the music is a section of four notes. And I'll show you, you can count along with me perhaps. After four, so I'll count us in for four as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, you've got a good left hand position you play the notes really nicely and you count in your head what more do you want brilliant at this stage very good now I would like one more thing and I'd like us to play it once again and this time I would like you to focus on keeping your right sh shoulder down when you play so be careful that it doesn't as your arm gets more tired that your shoulder doesn't come up like that but it stays nice and low okay here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> off by heart so without looking at the music we internalize the music that much better so to get a good grounding in the early stages of violin playing do learn everything that you play off by heart uh, because it, the brain does something with it and that is going to give you much more long-term progress if you've enjoyed this lesson why not subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button and any questions that you may have, do please write them in the comment section below. I do get to see these and I will get back to you, I promise. Goodbye.